What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we need to talk about one of my new favorite heroes of the game, and that is Fiona. Fiona is the brand new Fortress Priest. She is a goddess. She is amazing. She is awesome. She's what 2C should have been at Chinese New Year. She is well-rounded. She's amazing at PvP support. You'll see she does some god-tier PvE damage, like... Probably up there with Sword Flash and Ithaqua as far as PvE damage. Now, it's not going to come close to like a Delacium Army. That's just never going to happen. But if you're talking about a solo hero's damage output, this hero is disgusting. And we even ran her in a very kind of suboptimal setup. Most of the stuff we did was at V4, of course. We had Splendid Artifacts. I mean, the lesser testing will come in the week to come. But the event is really good. The hero's really good. Let's jump into her and talk about Yona. Oh, guys, 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 guys. This hero, this hero is my new love. She's an awesome look. She's not like a waifu type thing where it's just like, you know, you know what I mean? She's not, she's classy, classy. Got a big old hammer, which is awesome. And she has some of the coolest skills in the world and the highest damage dealing priest you will probably ever see. I wish I had her on the priest meme team. I really do because she would be that hard carry on that account. Let's go over her skills. So just starting with her passives, she's got attack, HP, crit, precision. She gets no speed. So one thing to note is she's probably one of the slowest heroes you'll have in PvP right now. But that's fine. She doesn't need to be fast. Her first actual passive, this is my goodwill. Basic attack targets one random enemy, uh, puts a sanction mark on them, which those will come into play later, dealing 480% of attack damage and inflicting one layer of that sanction mark. There is a 100% chance you will remove one random control effect from one controlled ally. So it is a smart control effect. Very, very good. Gets rid of doves. It's good. I'll protect everyone. This one is mwah, god tier. When battle starts, grants all allies with a shield equal to 1,500% of her attack. So yes, you have to run her very offensive. And a layer of redemption, which heals them for 15% when the shield disappears. When the round ends, you'll grant two allies with the lowest HP that shield at half power at 750% of her attack with another layer of that redemption so those are really good really 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 good the shield can stack all the way up to five thousand of her attack technically you could have three of these in the game in round one and you still wouldn't hit the cap of that shield now the really spiciness here now if you thought i mean this is really cool it's really amazing for pvp her active is by far one of my favorite actors in the game i love this gigantic Hammer, taste my hammer. Active skill deals 800% damage against one target, and it's going to prioritize that target that has the sanction marks on it. For every one layer of sanction marks the target has, Fiona will perform an additional attack up to eight. So you will see later a PvE video of us doing broken spaces where she is literally hitting a target nine times each time over a billion yes uh, not not a million a billion each hit she's doing over 10 billion damage on her final hits in the late rounds of broken spaces when fiona inflicts one layer of sanction mark to the target uh or while she does that uh while granting three allies with the lowest hp shields equal to 2000 of her attack and one layer of redemption which is going to heal of course for their hp this is awesome. I love this hero. She has amazing single target damage. Like she's up there with Sword Flash and Ithaqua for single target damage. If we ever get a boss, not like the Void Arc where it's like you only have six rounds because she needs seven plus eight plus rounds to maximize that sanction mark. If we ever get another boss that's single target and has 15 rounds, she might be one of the best pickups. Like literally, she might be. And you gotta remember, most of this is done with a very suboptimal stone. I mean, we had an antlers cane. We don't have resonance gear. Uh, this hero, 
is awesome i'm going to show you a little bit of pvp one thing to note in all the videos to come uh when you see this hero i have all normal priest tech we have none of the secondary right now i will fix that for later on but as a first initial judgment the fact that she doesn't have 30 percent damage reduction is absolutely insane let me make sure i had her completely set up right still right attack hp she's going slow we're using uh shelter for a little more survivability as well one thing i noticed is we are beating people we normally lose to uh i want to fight one gdp's actually got one as well so i want to throw them against each other to see how this combat goes again we're going to speed it up to three times just so you, you guys get to see a lot more combat than normal um but she does exactly what we wanted and that is make combat last longer right now in the end game late game pvp meta i mean combat's over in like two turns like end of round two we're basically dead right there normally that asmodel would have procced every single person's unbending will instead we have more combat which is really really cool really really cool <laughs> oh man she's gonna get a shield off this round it looks like if you had an energy feed on her it might really be good now the sherlock's healthy we might lose this one but we are gonna get some shields right here which is really good again and all of our transcendence heroes are shielded up that sounds like a good answer now it's two on two we could lose this but i mean like let's be honest we never used to come close to killing gdp ever like it just didn't happen and it looks like we might actually win Nah, we lose it's close it's really really close but like this hero is so fun to use franco so franco is one that you guys probably see a lot we test on him because he's a very similar power level. He has a very similar setup as well. But we usually still lose to him because he does have the edge when it comes to void imprints. And as you guys know, in endgame, void imprints is everything. I love this here. The shields are awesome. You guys notice the shields just haven't broken yet. They just haven't. The shields are still up. They're taking zero damage. Now, sadly, she's not getting... She, ah, she already used her basic kind of want her the slowest to break people out of doves like late in the round in my opinion okay asmodel's out she's gonna get an active off let's actually slow this down to two times towards the end of this fight here see what's gonna go on here so she doesn't do a lot of damage in pvp mainly because she needs those marks to stack up and without those marks she's not doing those extra hits but you'll see in the pvp video the combat with her is a ton of fun like a ton ton of fun you see what this looks like normally we'd already be down to like just our sword flash and with all the extra shields she's giving out she's just increasing the survivability of our team exponentially look at this didn't even break the shield on the sword flash just crazy crazy defense especially when you pair it with asmodel as well like they literally synergize asmodel puts the 25 percent damage reduction while she puts her damage reduction shield up and when you combo them together they just seem so so strong like as you see there she didn't do a lot of damage but if she's given time she's going to ramp up damage on that single target right there she's gonna have multiple hits coming through which is gonna be really good for us uh okay i mean franco we used to lose a lot now we're kind of winning a lot her damage isn't anything great you can't really see her shield buffs like you can't see what she's contributing but you have to watch in combat she is very very strong and combined with an easter event that is probably one of the top three four events we have ever had for heroic summoning i just don't know how you can pass up going for this here now you have to make a conscious decision because anniversary is coming up in two months like probably we have one heroic summoning event between now and anniversary maybe two but probably just one you have to decide if this is the hero you're going to want to build because if you're looking for end game pvp i think she is most definitely a really good hero honestly i think i'm building two i, I think i've decided i'm going to build two fionas i think it's what i need to do she is just she's like one of my she's she's my favorite hero now she's by far my favorite hero might as well call us barry fiona gaming might as well just call me shrek because i'm in love with fiona like seriously this hero is awesome she looks cool 
love everything about her let me know how you guys test her out and again just remember all that pvp you just saw was with zero percent damage reduction in guild tech just imagine with 30 percent from every class doesn't matter if it's, if she doesn't have priest because i mean she's not fighting any priests besides herself maybe they don't do damage so who cares so let me know what you guys think i think she's by far one of the new best non transcendence heroes in the game i'd put her up there with sherlock technically i think i would and higher we got a test these are first impressions i'm pretty hyped so maybe i'm a little over exaggerating but definitely stay tuned and check out all the videos from the live stream and all the testing we're gonna make. so just a little precursor this is going to be one of the last recorded videos you see for a little while you're going to see maybe one or two videos a day for the next four or five days baby berry is on her way she's going to be here in the next couple days so most of the content you see is only going to be one or two videos a day because i have it pre-scheduled out do me a favor if you could just if you see a berry gaming video in the next couple days just just give it a click give it a watch let's get some views because going from four videos down to one it's going to be a little rough but hey it is what it is so hopefully you guys enjoy this one let me know what you think about fiona and i'll see you guys next time